Today's video, we're going to be breaking down the best blitzes in college football 25 with the best defense in college football 25, and that is the 335 tight defensive playbook. We've got a 335 tight defensive ebook on the school.com community page that breaks down everything that we do and why the uh, why the blitzes work as well as they do. If you want to get access to that ebook, join the school.com community. Link is going to be down in the description below. We're going to be going over the top five blitzes in this game with also the best team in the game, which is Texas. Texas is by far the best team in the game. The only possible second choice is Alabama, but I actually think Texas is way better than them because of Trey Moore. Trey Moore is the best player in this game, the most versatile player in this game, uh, at least uh, from a lineman perspective, front seven perspective. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the best blitz are, well, it's not really in order. These are just five really good blitzes that I wanted to break down. Uh, so one is Sam Blitz 3. Literally all you're going to do is you are going to, um, you, you could literally just call this blitz and it'll come in. Literally nine times out of 10, if you just call the blitz, it will come in. But what the best kind of most consistent way that a lot of people are running this is they're going to shift to the weak side of the formation. They're going to crash their defensive line out, and then they're going to stand right here, and they're going to hold left trigger. And if you hold left trigger, you will get pretty good pressure off of the edge. All right? Now, that didn't look very, very good, so I'll go with my other version that I really like, which is the spread and crash out. We'll see if this blitz works for us. And as you see, we get that kind of edge pressure that's super good. Uh, the penny is probably my favorite way to play defense right now there's a lot you can do with this defense so in general you're just going to either shift your defensive line to a side and crash them out or you're going to um or you're going to spread your defensive line and crash them out so that is the 335 uh that is the 335 penny penny blitz uh, okay, so honorable mention, or at least top four uh, blitz, in my opinion, it's a lot of fun to run this one. This one comes out of 335 Mint, and it is Crossfire. Uh, LB Cross 3 Show 2, this is one of my favorite ways to blitz every single year because it has the potential to come through the A-gap and off of the edge, which is really good. Uh, so literally, all you're going to do to set the splits up is you're going to spread your line, you're going to pinch your linebackers, and then you're going to globally blitz all of your linebackers and crash your line to uh, the middle, crash your line to the inside. And then I would definitely advise putting your user on his own. And what you're going to see is this is going to scream off of the edge. And oftentimes, this blitz can actually come right in through the A-gap as well. So, again, spread your D-line. And then you can even move this guy. Like, you just want that guy to be, like, closer. You don't have to actually pinch your linebackers. You just need to get that guy as close as possible. I think it's really helpful for the defense. And sometimes, because Trey Moore is the best defensive player in college football 25, sometimes he will just come in on his own, which is which is really, really cool. So again here, see, that time, oh, I forgot to blitz the linebacker. That's why we didn't get the edge pressure. But it's a send five blitz, super good. The other thing with the send five blitz is if you want to send four in this game, uh, this is actually one of my favorite things about college football. I do think it makes college football different than Madden. In Madden, oftentimes you can't just send four, uh, but the way the movement is in this game, you can actually send four. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this defensive end and we're going to put him in a hard flat. And what you're going to see is this send four will still come in, as you see right there. By the time we get a strip sack from my man Gillette. Gillette's, an, Gillette's probably the second best player in college football 25. Um, and they both happen to be on the same team. And the third best player in college football 25 is Isaiah Bond, who is also on Texas. So you hopefully you're catching like the, the trend. They're a really, really good team. But as you see there, that time we get a loop from the defensive end. Super good blitz. That is 335 mint. That's crossfire. It's probably one of the newest ones that I've uh, talked about. That's also on our school site. And we're actually going to have ebooks. Uh, so our defensive ebook, we're going to base that ebook out of any of these as base formations as well. So it's going to be a super, super good defense. Uh, but again, you get everything on that site for just ten dollars. Link's going to be in the description below. Okay, so for the next blitz, we're going to be going over the three-three double mug, three-three uh, uh, double mug blitz. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your covered shell. You're going to put this on cover zero, and we are going to show you how to run mid blitz. Okay, so the way that we're going to run mid blitz is we are going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line inside. We're going to take this safety, and we're going to stand about right here. We're going to put him into a hook curl. And then you are going to drop both defensive ends in zones. And what you're going to see is this oftentimes is going to scream right up the middle. It's more of a disengaged defense. Now, if I wanted to make this a, a little bit more of a blitz, I talked about this uh, the other day. 
and I don't think a lot of people listen to me, but this is this is a th this version of the Sin Five is really really cool. So you're just gonna pinch your D line, right? And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna zone this guy. You're gonna coverage one of your defensive linemen. So we're gonna coverage this defensive lineman right here, and we're gonna stand here and hold left trigger. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna scream right through the middle. That is really really cool. That is what makes mid this, this is what makes this specific defense super fun to run. Is when you get this a gap kind of glitch right here. See here again, we get it super fast right up the pressure. And so that's one of my favorite blitzes in the game. If someone is sending five out, the cool part is this will apply to pretty much any double mug and double mug is in a lot of playbooks. I know a lot of you don't have road to glory uh, or not a road to glory road to the playoff that road to playoff mode. You can't get three, three, five penny. This is a really good de defense. Um, and I actually kind of want to run a little bit more. And again, we have a even better version of this broken down on the site uh, school.com slash Cody Ballard. But anyways, Okay, so now what I want to show you is a, 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 uh, another method here. So we're just going to go with a send four, and I'm going to hold left trigger. And what you're going to see here, sometimes this will come uh, right through the middle. Again, it's a disengage. So the disengage is really cool. The send five is amazing if they send five out. And then to send six, all you're going to do differently is you are just going to contain. Okay, so you're just going to contain your defense. And what you're going to see when you contain your defense is that A-gap still comes through, and oftentimes it's going to be an instant sack. So this is another one of my favorite defenses in the game. It is the 3-3-5 double mug defense, super glitchy, uh, super, super effective. Uh, so we talked about 3-3-5 mint. We talked about 3-3-5 penny. Uh, we talked about 3-3-5 over. And now, just for fun, let's talk about dime rush all right so the way that you're going to set up the dime rush defense put it cover shell on whatever you want cover two cover three cover four totally messed up but it's a super it's a super glitchy uh disengage kind of similar you're kind of hopefully seeing a, th a theme here but all you're going to do is you are just going to pinch your defense you're going to crash down blitz your linebacker here and then you can use her either slot corner either one so like right here we're going to use the one on the left side and we're just going to basically bring him into the box like this. And essentially what you're going to see is this will create an instant A gap up the middle. So super simple defense out of this dime rush. Again, the setup, pinch your defense, crash, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, blitz your, blitz, your, <laughs> uh, blitz your linebackers and then crash down. You can do it out of anything, but I think this is a really cool one. What I typically like to do is be on the opposite side that I want the blitz to come in. So if I want the blitz to come in here, you know, we're going to do this. And you see, see how that middle linebacker is looping through the B gap. Now, let's say that your formation, your dime rush formation was flipped. Let me kind of show you uh, what that would look like. So, again, here, you know, now against a formation like this, I would probably want to – whoops, I did not mean to do that with that linebacker. Hopefully this blitz still works. I would probably want to now be over here. Uh, so, again, you're seeing this little disengage, and we're going to get this. And as you see, we get that defensive tackle coming right through the gap. Super, super good. Uh, this is dime rush. At least it's one version. There's a lot of versions. Uh, as you see here, I'm in a slot corner – don't you the other thing you can also do if you want to just blitz out of the slot corner blitz you can send this pressure this pressure is not bad at all uh you can get some disengages and you'll also get that edge pressure real quick pro tip for college football 25 in most defenses you want to be crashing inside or you want to be crashing outside to make the defense as good as possible here we're going to crash inside and you're going to see we get that dta gap up the middle super good and then we get the corner kind of looping around him there are a lot of good blitzes in this game, especially if you use Texas or Alabama. If you want to check out all of my content, that is all going to be in the school.com community page. We have a we have a full ebook that is on all of the blitzes. It literally is like a library for blitz setups, and we are constantly updating and tuning that so that it is the best possible um, way to kind of understand how to blitz and what are the best blitzes in the game. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for school, head down to the description and click the link down below.